just had Thank to bend you. your schedule all in shape to make it. I really appreciate it. Hey, well, you know, really. Uh, so good to meet you in person. Yeah, we no, it's. Oh, we had great conversations. Yeah, definitely. Sorry, definitely. Arian was out. Aaron had it all set, but he couldn't make it. You know. Well, you know. Yeah. Well, we'll think of something to say, and I'm really happy to catch up with you, and uh, and in the audience, you're happy to be uh, caught up also with our guest, uh, John Spigler. That's right. And he is a youth. He's a, a young man. He's only 21. He's an essayist. He's a concerned citizen of spaceship Earth, planet <laughs> spaceship Earth, and he's also a hip old hippie in training, as yeah. he said, and so forth. And uh, he's got a great deal of interesting things to say. And welcome very much, John, to Conversations. I really welcome you to the set. Thanks a lot. It's a pleasure to be here. You've seen the program. You know we uh, want you to share your own background. And I wonder if you would, if you could, please. I know I caught you at a place. You were at a place called the Yippie Yippie Cafe. Yippie Cafe, which is new. Dana Beale, I guess, and some mm -hmm. of those people and everything. It's an interesting place downtown. But could you, and we'll be talking some about Paul Krasner and the Yippie movement and the human condition, but sure thing. share your own background. Born and raised, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, you I was would. born and raised in New York City. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I was born at, born at NYU Hospital. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. It's weird because I hate that school. You do hate the school. Right? I hate the school. We make they, it into they, they, Y and everything yeah, like that. Uh, you can, uh, oh, you can really vent here. You can oh, vent. I, I, I plan There's on it. Yeah, okay, I, good. I plan yeah, on that's it. good. Yeah, okay. um, But yeah, I was, uh. born, I was born and raised in New York. Right. Um, spent way too much time in New York for some uh -huh. of my age. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I should be somewhere else. Where? Where would you be? Where would you want to be? Where Please. do you want to be? Where, Bre Belize? Belize. Belize is a place where a lot of hippies went to because it was so inexpensive. For yeah, one yeah thing. And, and, and it still is. It, still it is. is still a place to go. I mm -hmm. remember back in the 70s, 80s, they were, that was a place where people went. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. Maybe, maybe it's uh, the yeah. Argentina for the left. Okay, you know, right. Well, no, that'd be interesting. That's really interesting that that's the case. Anyway, but you spent all this time in yeah, New York. I, I spent all my time in New York, mm. uh, mostly, you know, hanging on the Lower East Side. Um, right. Tompkins Square. And, and I heard you say something about 23rd Street. You yeah, were raised I, I, around I, I, 23rd I, I, Street or something? I, I mostly, you know, after School AJ. School for B. After, after AJ lived on 23rd Street. AJ Weberman? No, no, not, not AJ Weberman. Oh. Age 8. Eight. Uh, when I was eight years old. Oh, onwards. when you were age eight, I thought you said AJ. <laughs> no, no, not, age no, not AJ. AJ. Okay, not AJ, right, no. Right, right. But School for Visual Arts on 23rd? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, they're, they're things, right yeah. there. Yeah. yeah, Baruch College, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Right yeah, there, right. yeah. So. Well, that's a pretty interesting part of town. There's a lot going on yeah, there. Yeah, there, there is, there is. But you hang out a lot down at yeah, the Lower Yeah, yeah, I, I haven't, you know, been around, been around there in a while, you mm -hmm. know. Um, I was in the Lower Side, I've been living in Brooklyn. Lower East Side is a really creative place, and I guess it has been since forever. Since the dawn, almost. since the dawn of time. Yeah, uh, right. No, it's true. Because yeah. you, like you said, I heard you say earlier, you said a lot of the immigrant population came through. Mm -hmm. You had a turn of the century. You had it was a large Jewish population. Yeah, down definitely. There, and then and all the um, you know, right there, you had the roots of the American Socialist movement. Really? Yeah. yeah okay. Um, yeah, right. Sam Gompers, a German uh -huh. immigrant. Yeah. You know, right. So right. American so Socialist movement uh, in New York. Right. And, yeah. You know. All the anarchists, um, the a lot wobblies. of artists too. It's oh, an course, artist thing, course, and the artists course. tend to be of a different kind of ca a group than it seems to me. And we we, we both had well, a meeting on the telephone at a place mm -hmm. called the Yippie Museum. I right. didn't even know it existed. Right. I guess um, Dana Beale's putting it together. Yeah, and he's others, putting it together, trying to um, hold on to that idea of Abby Hoffman and mm -hmm. the Yippie movement that was there so prominently right. in the Vietnam times. So. Right. And and you know, um, this generation's taken a lot from them. Yeah, uh, I would think know. so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely. Or they, uh, if they haven't, they should. Well, my um, suggestion. Yeah, you, you know, know th th yeah. those those with a you know sense of history definitely yeah. have taken a lot, and uh, yeah. you know, even a lot of those people just don't realize mm -hmm. that how much they've taken from them. Mm -hmm. uh, you mm -hmm. know, really, Amer America is forever changed by what went on then. Yeah. You know, I don't necessarily. You're not going to get an argument from me on that. I think it was no. a moment of qualitative transformation. That was when we had. Landed on the moon, mm -hmm. we had the Woodstock Festival, we had the Vietnam mm -hmm. thing, all that kind of stuff going on. Mm -hmm. And there were things going on in terms of the evolution of consciousness, mm -hmm. in my humble opinion, and the zeitgeist and everything that marks that time. What mm -hmm. year were you born? I was born in 86. I was 86? So you're only 21 years I'm old. I'm only you're really young. You're yeah. the new youth. Coming. Yeah, yeah. I was you're born, the one that was we all in the backlash oh, I see, of, the back. of everything you enjoyed. I see. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what about your family? What were they up to? Were they intellectuals? Or, um, what? or how did you get, you know, you're an yeah, essayist. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're baby yeah. boomers. You baby know, boomers. Uh, yeah, right. Definitely baby boomers. Mm -hmm. um, Hippies? No? Oh, they, they were. They really? were, definitely. Uh-huh, uh-huh. They actually met on a kibbutz. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, in Israel. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is, 
Uh, I don't know how I feel about that, but um, were they there living? On a yeah, yeah, they chance? were there living. Were they, they living traveling. for a while there? Uh, well, they they were both traveling. Did they take you there, or you oh, were no, born no. here? I, after I was, they I, were was born, in I was born in New York. This was I, years before I was born. Years before they, you they, were born. They met in '71. Were they academic or you know, um, or, or per well, professional? Um, or they, they were actually at that well, what point was both the, college what was dropouts. The, okay, well you can get what was the uh, setting of the home? Warm, friendly, welcoming, intellectually stimulating. Yeah, your home life because uh, the home life is important. Oh, oh often, definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah. No, it was. I had a really pleasant childhood. Okay, good. You know, yeah. um, no yeah. matter what sort of drama arose later, yeah, none of us knew about it or uh -huh. were oblivious to it. Okay, or, you know. But they encouraged you, and in education and so you went to high school. Right, I, I, you graduated I, from high school. No, I actually. Uh, well, technically, yeah. I got a GED. You got a GED. Uh, yeah, okay, I, yeah, I dropped out of high school. Yeah, you um, did. Yeah, why? Actually, I don't mean to pry. It's none of my oh, business. Oh, no, but no. Why did you drop out of high school when um, you know that is very not a very... Uh, most of the establishment or authority voices in our society would tell you to stay in school because, mm -hmm. well, for one, you're going to make more money and get right. a better job. And right. So well, forth, but, you know, it's a responsible path to take. Yeah. And you decided not money's to do Money's a nice it. thing. Money's yes, a nice it is. thing. Yeah, you yeah. Know, I'm, I'm a chain smoker and uh -huh. cigarettes are expensive. They but, are. But, um, you get them off the internet less you costly? Can, you can, They're, they're less costly. You can Definitely. beat the taxes. Definitely. Would you do that without a, with a clear conscience? Uh, yeah, if you could? <laughs> yeah, you would. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, yeah, sure. Okay, okay. You can do that. We can get, you, I, I mean, I happen to know you can do that. So yeah, you, you definitely can. There's, and there's it's being done by sides. the American Indians, which mm -hmm. has a poetic justice right. to it. Yeah, definitely. We took I mean, their land, steal everything, and then they give us... Um, you know, yeah, you know, if you, if you wipe out an entire continent, yes. uh, you know, because mm. we, we think of them as tribes, mm -hmm. but no, they were actual nations. They, yes, they actually. The Iroquois nation was very democratic. Oh, definitely. A lot definitely. of examples were taken from the Iroquois. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah they, they had they had a real culture. Yeah. That that um, I guess out of guilt or denial, right? Uh, we just don't like to think of it. We like to think of it as a very um, John Ford movie. Right. A John we, Wayne movie. Yeah. Right, right. We like to think of it like that. We like to yeah. think of them as savages. No, they had their own cultures. Yeah, right. So I, I think it's totally fitting that they should be able to, uh, you know, profit us, off our gambling yeah, addictions. Yeah, right, right, and right. And, and just take advantage of all our weaknesses and everything. Exactly. Like that. Yeah, because, then, you know. Yeah, right. Yeah. We did that when we gave them whiskey. Yeah, they, right. They'd never had alcohol before. Right, 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 uh, right. We did that when we gave them smallpox. Right, right. We did that when we... In massive numbers. Mm -hmm. They wiped out after Pizarro in South yeah, America, man. It was just, or the Caribbean was just wiped out, those yeah, Arawakans completely, Oh, completely, there. completely. It was like a holocaust. A genocide oh, of oh, the highest genocide. order, perhaps the worst in the world, do you um, think? I wonder if that, the treatment of the indigenous people of the Americas by the European early colonial imperialists um, was perhaps the worst genocide by, ever delivered down, uh, I possibly. wonder. Um, you know, maybe except for biblical times. Maybe, uh, yeah. You know, Genghis uh, Khan was pretty good. Yeah. Genghis I mean, Khan and the, was and good the mo what he did. Mobile hor and those hordes coming mm -hmm. down, they had the Euphrates running blood for a long time. And right. so it's pretty. James Joyce, you're a poet of some or an intellectual, uh, I, you write, you're an essayist. And so I love forth. James Joyce. And James Joyce said, history is a nightmare from which I'm attempting to awaken. It's, it's, it's true. It's Make true. true to, it seems true to you? It, it definitely seems true to me. How far is it before the alarm clock's going to go off? Are we still in the swoon of history's embrace, or do you see some openings upon a qualitative transformation well, that would be like an awakening? Well, um, or how do you feel about I, the human I think condition? people people are really starting to realize in what dire straits we're in. Thank you. Uh, because I mean, even from the point that um, let's talk about the weather. Yeah. Uh, it's now Getting the first hot. of November. Yeah. And we're still enjoying very nice temperatures, which yeah. really aren't supposed to happen. The All North the trees outside here in New York are still green. Yeah, that's you know, true, and they're not supposed to be by now, right? Yeah, I have yeah. a community garden on Bleecker Street. Okay, good for you. Uh, yeah, I, near I uh, help tend the plot. Or near the Yippie Museum. Is uh, that yeah. where Bleecker is? Uh, Bleecker yeah. and LaGuardia, right yeah. next to yeah. the Morton Williams. Yeah, okay. It's a beautiful garden. It's been yeah. around for 28 years. Yeah, and you participate in that? Yeah, or definitely. Or yours or is a group? Uh, well, community well garden? Uh, I, I share crop. I'm mm -hmm. one of the plots. You're a share cropper, Yeah, I'm a share cropper. Okay, good, yeah. I don't, I don't get 40 acres in a mule, yeah, but I get yeah. tomatoes. Usually they never did um, deliver that 40 <laughs> acres or the mule, I No, think. no, yeah, they didn't. Yeah. Another instance of yeah. historical miscarriage of yeah, justice. Well, yeah, there's tons of them wherever yeah, you anyway, go. Yeah, anyway, so talk about the garden. Well, well um, mm. the garden, it's been around for 28 years. Yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's in a lot of trouble. Uh, uh. NYU is going to be building a... New, one of those new hideous glass buildings really? on Another. top of the supermarket. Uh -huh. That's going to shade us. Uh -huh. And really, uh, eventually, they're just going to build over the garden. You think so? Yeah. yeah. Uh, community yeah. gardens are... Yeah. 
destroyed on a regular basis. Yeah, for, to make room for another hideous glass building. Exactly. Right? Yeah, and it seems to be going that way. That's yeah. partly why you don't like NYU. No, I hate NYU. Yeah, yeah. you do. You <laughs> do hate. Hate's a strong word. Um, how many well, things in the world, how many institutions in the world do you hate? I hate a lot of institutions. <laughs> okay. I, I, I yeah, do. Right. I, okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. I hate the World Trade Organization. Yeah. Okay. I, I hate, uh -huh. you know, I, I hate mm -hmm. the MPAA. Uh -huh. yeah, <laughs> I, um, yeah, yeah, uh, you know, yeah. You know, I... Yeah. I hate the G8. Uh huh. Yeah. You know, um, mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I I hate all those things, and mm. and and, we, and I should because mm -hmm. um, you know, inst an institution like yeah. NYU that can yeah. go and own half of downtown and Columbia owns the uptown. and and Columbia owns <laughs> owns uptown. What's with this? Is you yeah. know, what are these people actually contributing? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the entire purpose of a university scholarship, young yeah. man. Yeah. Well, scholarship. Well, the entire yeah. purpose is you know that. And it's mm. not that I don't agree with the free exchange of ideas. Yeah, I love right. the free exchange uh, of ideas. Obviously. We're obviously. doing it here. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. But uh -huh. at the same time, mm. I don't like the idea that you can be a tax-exempt development mm. corporation. Yeah, right. You know, uh -huh. that you can go and own all of this land yeah. and profit off it immensely yeah. and live this terrific armchair lifestyle. Yes, yeah, right. And just completely destroy lives. Yeah. What, what Columbia is doing up in Harlem yeah, right now. They're moving all the way up into 130s, I think. Exactly. Yeah, yeah and, right. Yeah. And, you know, they're, they're tearing down, you mm. know, people people's people's homes people's like, property yeah, right. and these are people who don't have the same sway that Columbia eminent would. domain eminent domain yeah, and right, we're having right. that in Brooklyn uh, with Atlantic Yards right right and this is happening yeah. all over the place uh -huh. and people's uh, you know people's uh, people's lives are being you know uprooted yeah. um, by by their own elected and their by their yeah, own their city own, governments. Yeah, by their own governments. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. a private enterprise mm. can take over and profit yeah. off what they've uh, off what they've lived on, yeah. and that that's despicable. They've gotten a sort of uh, ability to bring some sort of uh, clout, as mm -hmm. they say, to the political process. Exactly. And there's very precious little left over for the people, in a right, sentence. Right. And I think we need to have somebody like Frederick Douglass, who used to be in the middle of chattel slavery and mm -hmm. so forth, and call it out. Mm -hmm. Somebody should be doing that now because we have a system that serves only the very few at the top oh, 20% oh, oh, definitely, on definitely. a world scale and on a national scale and everybody in a certain sense just sort of accepts it mm -hmm. in a certain kind of sense. Well, I don't wonder that some people are of an anarcho mind or people like the yippies, mm -hmm. Abby Hoffman, God bless them, mm -hmm. and uh, Paul Krasner and the people that took a or theater of the absurd, mm -hmm. or or living theater, that who took a look at all, the, or Howell, or mm -hmm. the beat the, the, with the whole movement at Woodstock, who took a look at it and saw it as absurd, mm -hmm. out of control, and took a, a an absurdist view of the situation in theater. We now have it with the Comedy Channel, mm -hmm. Daily Show, mm -hmm. Colbert, that kind Definitely. of stuff, and that kind of is very powerful and yeah. a very powerful no, way of addressing you know, I've, the I've had absurdities of what is called. A legitimate order. Uh, definitely. You I see I've, it that way? I, I do see it that Good, way. Good, that's encouraging. Uh, you know, I, I, I look at the world today and mm -hmm. I, you know, um, it, it, it lets me pat myself on the back for being an atheist because no not, God oh, would oh, ever, uh, ever that, allow anything yeah. like this. Not a just God. Uh, uh, yeah, no. Uh, no ob yeah. Obviously not. Yeah. Uh, and you see that thing in the newspaper there? You see, do you read the New York Times? I, I do read the New York Times. You do? Times. I do too. I do because you have to keep in touch in a way, right? It's the also paper of record. You yeah, know, that, paper that's, that's where... They had it two weeks in a row in the, in the uh, News of the Week in Review. Everybody reads that, right? Mm -hmm. They had a front page, a whole full page. It opened out, is there a design or purpose to universe? Did you mm -hmm. see that? I, I, they I had did the, see it. The, I, the I didn't, guy from I didn't the, the you know, they had it about eight or ten different people, and there was about equal number of people who said no, to said yes, that mm -hmm. there's the design of the purpose. Big question: whether or not there's some purpose, or what's it all about, Alfie? You know. Mm. Well, well yeah. you know, when I when I think when I think about the vastness in the universe, I get yeah. a headache. You do? Yeah, I, I do. It, it, I where, do. where where does it hurt? <laughs> what part of the head? Was it anywhere um, in particular? Um, uh, yeah. most, mostly, it's up, mostly it's up front most in the over prefrontal here, lobe, you know, in the frontal right? lobe. Yeah, exactly. right. Okay, right. Um, yeah. yeah you know, well, I, it's good we evolved with the prefrontal lobe to have it hurt yeah. from this <laughs> fact that you can't take measure of the thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, we can cut it all. Look like McMurphy and yeah, right. You know. Great movie, isn't it? Great movie. Oh, oh I love One it. Wood boy, yeah, cuckoo yeah. nest. Yeah. Anyway, so you 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 dropped out of school, right? I, I did. You I dropped I dropped out of school. What because caused you to drop out of school? Um, because you're obviously bright. Se several so things. Didn't several you things. Did you see your way clear to getting great advantage if you stayed in school to the end? No, okay. no, I didn't. Okay. Um, are several there people things. of your age who are bright? people mm -hmm. of your age who are thinking of, in a certain sense, dropping out of that context, that the, ed the organized educational pattern? Well, 
you know. It's a, it, it used to be Timothy Leary, do you remember I, his I, name? I, I'm aware of him. Yes. Tune in, turn on, on drop, drop out. out, he said. Mm -hmm. At the end of his life, he said, tune in, turn on, and take over. Mm -hmm. But he said that drop out. Mm -hmm. So in a certain sense, a drop out attitude toward mm -hmm. the institutions yeah. that are so sacredly proclaimed by all of our establishment figures. Do you understand what I'm saying? I, I do Is understand. Is there a mass saying. alienation among the youth, particularly the bright youth? Of um, them? And if there isn't, why isn't there? Well, if you can follow. I, I can't. I, I hope mm. I can. Yes. <laughs> um, Enlighten. Well, teach. Well, the, well, teach, the reason teach. I, I dropped out of school for yeah. a variety of reasons. Mm. I dropped out of school because there was a war going on. Yeah. Well, and I, I was bored in school already. Bored. Yeah. yeah. I, I was incredibly bored. I was too. Even when I was young, I was yeah. bored. I never did like you it. Know, yeah, you know, for whatever I, it's worth. Yeah. I, I, I would just you know sit in most of my classes and. Mm clandestinely read. Yeah. Uh, you know. Sneak. Yeah. Sneak yeah. James Joyce. Yeah. yeah um, <laughs> I, 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 was re I was reading a lot of, you know, um, mm -hmm. like existential yes. stuff back yeah. then. And, Heidegger. You know, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, books about wayward junkies. Yeah. And yeah. Stuff like that. And, you know. On the Road. Have you read On uh, the Road? I have yeah. read that On was the Road. A, yeah. Yeah. You know, mm. Kerouac's actually not my favorite beat. Not? No. no. Who you did know. you like? Um, I did love I love Ginsburg. Um, did you know Al? Did you get a chance? You were too young. To uh, I, I was too young to know. Yeah, I knew um, him. Everybody knew him in a way. He was a mm -hmm. friend of mine in a way, not a real close friend mm -hmm. like that, like he was. Ray Bremser was a close friend. I don't know if you know Ray. He was great. He did blues for Bonnie and that okay. kind of stuff. The Beach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You but know George Mandel? He wrote know, Flee the Angry Strangers. No, no, no. Sorry, don't. Oh. Didn't know. Uh, it's yeah. it's it's considered actually the first beat novel. Mm -hmm. It's a bludgeoning tool of a book. It's, really? Yeah. Yeah. It's, okay. It's, it's terrific. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, That's and good. And you do essay. Do you, have you done writing along the? Uh, you, I know you've done essays, but have you done some uh, short story or uh, writing? I, I, I do. I do tons Stream of, of short stories. Stream of consciousness. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you do. You know, yeah, yeah. I, I, I write I write what I know, which mm -hmm. is actually I, I lead actually a really cliche life. Okay, <laughs> um, but um, yeah. okay. Uh, you know yeah. um, I write about whatever I see. Yeah, um, you know just record it. So do you keep a blog or do you keep a diary or a journal or anything um, like that? Just I keep for yourself, I keep no? notebooks strewn yeah. about uh -huh. my. Bedroom. Do you have them all very well organized? No, you know exactly not at all. Where everything is? No, no. Kitty. No. Wouldn't um, it be good if you could be organized? What do you think? How well you could be doing if you were only organized? Yeah, you know I, you I think about that all the time. Organization gene? You didn't have an organizational gene. Uh, uh, if yeah. it's there, if it's there, it laughs. I don't know. Uh -huh. I, I'm uh -huh. a slob, uh -huh. and a I slob. actually a complete nutter. But uh -huh. I actually I feel a lot more comfortable amidst the chaos. Uh -huh. You know, when things are too orderly, they just feel institutional. But back to this idea, of the youth, your youth, youth you're yes. representing the spirit. I mean, yeah, I saw John Stewart out, and then somebody said, the youth, we have hope for the youth, and John said, I hang out with the youth, and he said, we're in trouble. Yeah, but we are How trouble. is the youth feeling about things these days, young man? I'm <sighs> representing the older generation mm -hmm. and so forth. I've got real qualms about things. I'm wondering, what do you think in terms of the way you pick up on it, not only for the immediate thing, but in general, the people in Ames and the thing mm -hmm. you're in touch with, you're on the internet, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the attitude of the youth is toward the uh, system that the authority figures are talking? Yeah, well, you know, uh, my mom and I were having a conversation about how there's Who? no, my mother and I were having, Your a mother. Okay, yeah. having a conversation about how there's no real anti-war movement it's right true, now. It's true, not compared and, and to there and, was. And, yeah. and she cited the fact that we have things like MySpace and, you know, dating sites. And yeah. So you don't have to go uh -huh. to a demonstration to pick someone up. And you know, get laid. Yeah, Instead, get laid, yeah. you just go on the internet now. Yeah. Um, you know, so really, there's no, there's no mobilization because yeah. really, life is incredibly the, easy. Yeah. There's right also now. there used to be a thing called the draft. Yes. I had to go into the military. Mm -hmm. You would not like the military. Oh, oh I'm I doubt certain it. Certain you would not. I did not. But they used to make you go. Mm -hmm. You used to have to go, and it was uh, Paul. Oh no, Gravel. He got rid of Mark. Mike Gravel. Yeah, I yeah, know he's him running from for way back. Now. He's running for president. We did programs with him. He's a pretty interesting fellow, in but he was a large figure in trying to get rid in mm -hmm. getting rid of the draft after the Vietnam. And in Vietnam, we had 58,000 American troops over there. Mm -hmm. And you had something like three to four million people killed by our mm -hmm. efforts and so forth. So the Iraq thing hasn't spilled it, but you don't have a draft, so people aren't immediately no, uh, called um, into it. And you've got a volunteer army, or you've got an army, and then you've got Blackwater, and you've mm -hmm. got the mercenaries being trained for that from the lower ranks of the social economic ladder. Mm -hmm. So people that were in bourgeois positions in the Vietnam time were going to be drafted and drug into the war. Mm -hmm. Now they're not. So that's one right. big issue. Well, um, part of it. Yeah, maybe. I'm. I'm trying to figure out where all these soldiers are coming from. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, you know. Well, I'm they have to start. Tra they have to. Uh, there's as many as I understand mm -hmm. from you know from Jeremy Scale and everything. There's many hired mercenaries like Blackwater, mm -hmm. as there are troops right. in, in, in and, Iraq and now. And th mm -hmm. those guys get paid well. Mm. Yeah, you they know, get paid. Um, yeah, you yeah. can hire them. Mm -hmm. You can. Yeah. 
You yeah. can. It's it's um it's a really strange hired idea. killers, yeah. you know, or hired 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 mercenaries mm -hmm. like the Hessians well, at Trenton they, they that are, we defeated. Yeah, they're mercenaries, but yeah. let's call them hired killers. You know? Yeah. Uh huh. Let's 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 be honest. So you were talking with your mother about the war, and she yeah, said yeah, it was and she different said, you know, in those we, days. We, yeah. we have we have dating sites. Why mm. do, why do we need? Why do we need, uh, you know, to go so to a demonstration? So you think back in the 70s, the only people only went to those demonstrations in the war so they could pick up uh, a lady and maybe have something happen? Well, I, I don't think that was maybe all of it. Maybe not all. No. no, I don't think that was all of it. But They claimed that the Woodstock Festival, were your parents at the Woodstock Festival? No, they weren't they at ever Woodstock, talk no. They were not? No. I was there. They, they were across the, the country. There yeah. was, there was, I was at Woodstock then. I lived near New Paltz, which is mm -hmm. near Woodstock's sister community. Yeah. And if you look at the album, I think, one of the RPM, uh, through the RPM, and you look and you see there's 200, 500,000 people there. Mm -hmm. 500,000 people. Pig farm mm -hmm. and uh, the diggers and so forth right. were there. And the food seemed to manifest. I don't know. And yeah. they declared it a disaster yeah, zone. Right. And everything, and they were all there, and they had music that would never stop. It just kept going. And if you look on the album cover of the 33 and RPM, I think you will see in the midst of all that a big red balloon. Mm -hmm. That was my balloon. Oh, really? Yes. We had an eight-foot weather balloon mm -hmm. that we blew up and tethered to our van. And we drove it there, and it was eight feet across. It was filled with and we tethered it to the ground so the people who were actually from Woodstock, and New Paltz is like a sister community of Woodstock, mm -hmm. would be able to gather amongst the multitude. Mm -hmm. So I was there, well, and I saw I saw Abby Hoffman or be kicked off the stage by Peter Townsend <laughs> because he was bringing up Vietnam at what was supposed to be a cultural event, mm -hmm. and it was an epiphany. Well, yeah. well, wasn't Vietnam You're part of the culture? You're probably sick of hearing of it. Yeah. Uh, well, Vietnam I, I, was in, in an anti-war, but you had a lot of people with sex, drugs, rock and roll. There was a cultural thing going on. There was something Bobby Dylan said blowing in the wind, mm -hmm. and there really was something going on along about that time across the country. It was right. happening in France, all right. over the world. Yeah. Yeah, and and uh, you an know, uprising. Yeah, you know, and and like and everybody in my generation wants to have been there. Yeah. And, you know, I, I fall into that You're probably sick of hearing it, actually. I, I, I bet I, you're I sick am. of hearing people say, oh, Woodstock, the good old days, right? Yeah, I, I am. Yeah. I, I am. don't blame you. Uh, because <laughs> I wasn't there. I, I wasn't there. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, right now. And I'm here, here right now. now. Yeah. And yeah. I, I just like to keep <coughs> on reminding myself <coughs> things like, uh, you mm. know, Bob Dylan. Um, God he, bless him. He was wonderful. Yeah, I, yeah. I actually saw him play in June. He's so yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah. I grew up listening to real his poet. music. Yeah. 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 I was yeah. raised without religion, but yeah. a lot of Bob Dylan. Okay, and, okay, right. Okay, um, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, but um, I... And The Fugs. And The Fugs. Love the the fugs. fugs were my favorite yeah. movie. That was the my favorite band. Be best band ever done. Best album ever done was It Crawled Into My Hand, Honest, in my humble <laughs> opinion. I don't know if you have that opinion. I, 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 li I like the first like album. The first yeah, album, yeah, the because, white album. Because it's, yeah. because it's got Slum God, it's yeah, got Carpe that's Diem, true. Yeah, CIA that's Man, true. That's true. Supergirl. Yeah, but uh, It Crawled Into My Hand, Honest had Johnny Pissoff. Mm -hmm. And it had you know a lot of good things on there, too. You know? Oh, yeah. I'm not sure. We could argue over the white no, first no, album. No, we, 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 we could. You want to make a big, strong case for the first album, right? Um, you think things appear first, like the first <laughs> blush is when the first thing comes. The whole, it, a whole theory of art and expression, when mm -hmm. does it come? And do you take first take on a thing and that kind of stuff could be built around what we were just talking, arguing. Which of the Fugs albums was the most famous? Yeah, well, well the, most, the most famous would probably be the Fugs' first album. I think probably. Yeah. The Slum Goddess, it is great. Right, right? Slum, Slum Goddess is a great song. You just can't yeah. hardly beat Slum Goddess. No, you, yeah. you can't. You're yeah. right, it is good. Uh, and, and the good, title. But, I, but <laughs> I still liked it. It had that picture of him throwing the football, mm -hmm. Red Saunders. And right, right. But we're talking inside the football here pretty, because most people don't know, they think mm -hmm. of... Um, I don't know. There's all kinds of people that were more famous. Pat Boone was really famous <laughs> in the in the culture, but mm -hmm. in that culture downtown, it was. Anyway, it's all that kind of stuff. Now you do essays, right? You I do, I do a lot essays. of essays. Do you do the, Do you keep track of them and so forth? Or are they screwed on uh, the back not, of not, envelopes? Not as much stuff? as I should. Um, mm -hmm. You know, every once in a while, I'll just run into something I wrote a few years ago. Yeah. And. Um, you know, it'll be like half a narrative and then just cut off. I lost interest. Oh. And I'll pick it up again. Short attention span? I don't is think that it has... Is characteristic of your generation? They oh, don't definitely. Have a long story definitely. They have a very, it's getting a nanosecond. Definitely. Ever seen the TV show Robot Chicken? No, I have not seen it. Okay. Well, I'm looking forward. Where it, is it? It's on, on uh, Adult Swim. Uh, oh. You can find it on the web also. Okay, yeah. It's like these 15-second segments. Yeah. And then just on to another and yeah. on to another. Yeah. We have YouTube where we see these three-minute segments. Yeah, right. And we can get it all 
instantly. Yeah, you can get, yeah. yeah. You know, I, I don't blame myself for having a short attention span uh -huh. because if I'm a product of my surroundings mm -hmm. where it's this constant, you know, yeah. sensory overload, yeah, then, that's right. you know, I'm not going to look down on my down upon myself for happening. But that's really important, and mm -hmm. that's characteristic of your generation or your youth. Uh, I mean, it's hard. You don't want to sit and listen to somebody drone on and on with a linear pattern well, well, and that well, kind of uh, stuff. I will. And you, you, is I that will. a thing? You know, Norbert Wiener, I don't know if you know about the development of the computer and so forth, but Norbert Wiener, I had a friend who was, uh, his dad was in the room when he climbed, curmed, uh, coined the term cyber, right, and mm -hmm. everything. But he used to talk about information overload. You just said, mm -hmm. We're getting so much information coming in now, particularly, I mean, every day there's a revolution coming in over the transom from mm -hmm. some field of psychology. I just saw a thing in the sun today about they're talking about people are going to live to be a thousand. Serious science, okay? Yeah, they're talking that hasn't about happened since the no, Bible. No, <laughs> that's just Noah. Or, no, who was it that lived? It was Jewish. Who was it that lived to be so I, I, I don't know, but they the, were all they were all 900. Oh, I can't read. Yeah, right. No, uh, no but I mean, no, but uh, no, but the point being is there's all these things that come, but then it permits pattern recognition. You can see patterns. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, if you if you're in a system, you get overloaded, and then you can see a pattern. If you go, you can it, information overload permits pattern recognition. Mm -hmm. So you can see between a lot of different right. things. And you begin to get a si what they call a systems view of things rather than a specialized one, which the educational pattern is trying to encourage in right. the youth. Well, well um, if you finish school, yes. that means that you can uh, commit to something. And I think I can commit uh -huh. you know, to other things. Yeah, right. You know, and, and I'm thinking about mm. um, going to college. I haven't done much college yet. Um, but, okay, um, I'm listening. I'm you listening. Know, um, Why? Uh, why would you uh, want to go to college? We used uh, to go to college. Wanna, uh, you'd study with somebody yeah. if you admired somebody. It, it, it has well that that that, yeah. that, but it has a lot more to do with I want I want to learn I want to learn the ins and outs of filmmaking. I want to I want to learn um, a little more about public policy and just certain things that you you need to pick up in uh -huh. a more academic environment. Why do you think you yeah. need to pick it up in an academic environment? Uh, because. Um, well, y you don't have to, but right. it's 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 a good way to People do it. People are paying know? forty thousand dollars a year to go to a college to yeah. listen to somebody tell them something they they get bored by. Well, you often, know. and they get it done, run into the ground. Why well, would anyone? And they're authoritarian. The structures are well, authoritarian. Uh, but they're very authoritarian. Why would you go to something like that in order but, to get educated when you can get educated yourself from, let's say, that great autodidactic university in the sky, the internet? You got the best minds up there, and so forth. And there's so much information you can draw upon to develop your own thing. Most people go, if I may, they go because they're going to get a credential. Mm -hmm. They're going to get a credential. They're going to, uh, going to equip them to have what they call a job mm -hmm. to fit into one of the institutions that is going to give them money to buy a uh, Volvo mm -hmm. and a good home and food and cake on Saturday, maybe. Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. Yeah, definitely. That's what, why would you want to go to a university uh, in I don't, particular? I don't think I'd want to go to a university. Okay, uh, a I college? A college, yeah. Something... something uh, what? You know, something where I could be around, you know, other artists and... Um, well, you're in the Lower East Side. You got artists on all sides of yeah, you, don't yeah, you? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but you don't have the... Okay, I'm just curious no, about no, the mindset. No, I, 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 yeah. I, I, I uh -huh. totally understand. Um, no, I, I, I want to go because why the hell not? You know, because okay. I feel like I'm missing out on something. You know, you if do. I can take a couple college classes, I can see what the big For deal about actually being in school is. Yeah. And you know, well, you know, one of the things that would provide would be structure. The other thing would be a very good environment. You're in a thing where everybody's just sitting around reading and talking and everything. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty good way to be. Yeah. Sounds it like a vacation, also. It takes about forty thousand dollars a year to go to Harvard, I think, or something mm -hmm. like that. About the same as it does in prison. <laughs> you can, if you went into prison, <laughs> if you went into prison, you would have a chance idea. if they gave you unlimited rights to the internet and that kind of stuff you could be there and you could have a you know i'm, I'm sorry i didn't yeah, mean no, to no, make uh, a you, distinction you, you know they're actually actually uh, it's interesting because mm. uh state university yeah uh, this is like suny yeah. uses uh, a company for their food service called mm. chartwells uh chartwells um also serves prisons uh-huh really yeah, they, oh. so um, it's a growth industry yeah, prison. yeah it's yeah. a huge industry yeah yeah and yeah it's yeah. It's yeah. woven into the American economy. It is indeed. Uh, to the point where if we were to free mm -hmm. all of the nonviolent offenders, 
if we, you know who. <laughs> Jersey Carlin do his bit about that. George uh, Carlin. Well, do you like I, George I, I Carlin? I love George yeah, Carlin. Yeah, you did a piece that was inspired. It was on 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 uh, own box office. Mm -hmm. Inspired. It was so funny. Definitely. He's he was done, talking about. Uh, he's up to ten specials on yeah, HBO now. Yeah, right? but sometimes there's sometimes when it's just. It seems to me maybe it's this. Maybe it's the mind of the viewer, like Heider or something, you know, the observer, it makes like that and so forth. But there's sometimes when there's something special. Mm -hmm. When they get a person that is a performer or something is in just a special space. And you saw one the other day. It had me absolutely in the in the floors yeah. laughing and also insightful and everything. Yeah. He's really inspired. Yeah, the yeah, I'm sorry. The last, no, 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 don't worry about it. Uh, yeah. But uh, the last George Carlin joke I, I heard mm -hmm. that really lo mm -hmm. loved was, the homeless don't need homes. Yeah. They need houses. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, home is, home, home is mom yeah. and apple pie yeah. and the fireplace. Yeah. And or Edgar you know, Guest, that great poet, he said, it takes a heap of living to make a house a home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I've <laughs> lived trees. in a bunch of houses, yeah. uh, uh -huh. you know, with a bunch of people. Yeah. And um, a lot of them were completely interchangeable. Uh -huh. uh, and, and actually, um, that, Plastic that's people, step forward wise, mm -hmm. a lot of that kind of thing. Right. Because that's the kind of thing that is the training you to do is to fit into a structure where you will do what you're told yeah in a way. And, and you know what, I, That's what I, it's about. I, I only finally admit this to myself recently mm. I, I, I've spent a lot you're of sure time you sure you want to say this now you've admitted um, something to yourself you've I, thought it through carefully through your I, I, I through all levels of your cortex and everything mm. and that you want to share this with the public right? uh, I why just not? want you to be why sure not? No, go I'm, ahead do why it not? go yeah, ahead I just wanted to caution you I, I'm okay. very comfortable I've right done now. that it's very nice often chair. I was sorry the day after but <laughs> go ahead go well, ahead you know I, sp I spent uh, you know now it's really been built up it's not even that profound I spent you know most of my adolescence mm. as a punk rocker mm, punk and identifying rock, yeah. with a, mm. as a punk and I have all these David Peel, yeah yeah uh, yeah you could David Peel's around still yeah. oh yeah yeah, yeah. I, I mm. see him all the time Joey <laughs> the musician you in the rock and roll band you got, you got to be yeah yeah no, I, I, we I, are from the lower east side yeah, yeah, okay, no, yeah. No, that's the yeah. thugs yeah no that, no, that was yeah, well I from think the David east Peel, side, yeah. the lower east side yeah well the lower east side is still an inspired space right, right, you got a living theater down there now yeah, too uh, and, and they, they just Patterson, moved yeah? they just moved yeah okay yeah I know um yeah, and Clayton just had an art show. Yeah, Chelsea. yeah, the thing, he's written a book on the Jewish... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, he's uh, writing that. Lower, he says he's writing it now. Right, he's writing that now. Great guy, He's Clayton. writing that now. Great, great guy, um, yeah. Yeah, mm. um, actually, there's this guy who keeps on coming into the cafe I work at. The cafe writing. is the Yippee, the Yippee Museum. Cafe, the Yippee Museum and The cafe. Yippee Museum is where? Let's uh, get a plug uh, in yeah, for the Yippee Museum. Let's, let's do a let's plug. It's on 9 Bleecker Street. 9 Bleecker, that's where? That's down uh, from... Uh, uh, you know where CBGB used to be? Yeah, up from there. Huh? Uh, it's across the street from there. It's, Over uh, toward... It's uh, Bleecker between Bowery and Elizabeth. That's really a happening part of town. Uh, that's yeah, where you've got the Paper Tiger people and the War Resisters League. Yeah, the War Resisters League is down the block. On Lafayette, on Lafayette. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, a lot of stuff going on. Oh yeah, Om um, Fog. Then there used to be a place. Om no, no, Fug? that that was CBGB. That was CBGB. That was CBGB. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. Om Fog is other music for uh, uplifting Gorman. Where did uh, Where did Dana Peel used to publish his uh, Overthrow from? Oh, that so that was the same building. That was I'm the same one. Yeah, yeah, there's right. a lot that's come out of there. There's a great tradition. Yeah. That. It's a, that's a that's a national treasure. Yeah, a lot of history yeah. in that building. Yeah, right. uh, it actually was. Um, Cooley Kufferberg, God bless him, and Ed oh, Saunders. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. right. Um, yeah. You, ever heard, you ever You ever read that poem, The Mode of Music Changes? No, I haven't. No, don't know. No. Yeah, mm -hmm. no. Who did who was that? that? That was Tooley. Tooley, it was yeah. Tooley. I didn't know that. I got cartoons. He does. He does cartoons. Mm -hmm. He's great. Yeah. Oh, he, he's yeah. he's terrific. He's amazing. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So, so anyway, that's where that's going on. Yeah, but yeah, we that's were going on. Actually, there's 50 you're cent still fair about trade going organic to college, coffee. Right? You want to go to college? You want to go yeah. to a small college somewhere in the country? College, yeah, you know, you know, you know uh, and go do the Philip Roth thing, and you know, uh -huh. be an intellectual for a while. Well, okay. Well, Get a wife with gray hair. Yeah, but you obviously are an intellectual. You obviously are. You're following things and don't you think there's something to be said for the fact that there's so much available in terms of information good yeah. minds you can reach out to anybody in the world now you, and the you stuff's can. coming down you can you don't have to go someplace unless maybe you're doing something um that is somebody that you really admire or something you know mm -hmm. you're going to study with or something right like i don't, love I don't to take quite a understand why Angela anybody Davis, would go know, i don't understand why anybody would go to school except as a career move well, well, you know, it, it is a good career move. I mean, yeah, if, if yeah. you want, if you want to, if you want to go be a stockbroker, you go to business school, and mm. you know, uh, 
You're going to go to business. Uh, of school? course, you're I'm, gonna not take gonna, accounting? I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go. Accounting. I'm not going to no, go you're to not business gonna be school. Accounting. You're not. No, no. no. You're not, you haven't gone that far. No. Right. You, you know. go to some liberal arts, something yeah, reading. Uh, yeah, some or, sort or, of liberal arts or thing. Or literature. You know. or you know, I'm, I'm going to be 22 or, soon. Yeah. I'm going to get all the student loans and uh, stuff. Yeah. yeah. Then you're going to come out with a big debt. Yeah. Then you're going to have a 40,000, 50,000 debt when you come out. And then what are you going to be? You're going to be holding for the rest of your life. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be beholden for the rest of my life. You're going to be like an indentured slave. Am I not already? Well, am I not already? I don't. Am I not already? Say it. Am I? Am I not? I. I don't have health insurance. <laughs> okay, I don't have health insurance. Right. I. Uh, I can't rent a car. You can't rent a car. I can't rent a car. Why but can't, I can't you? Because I'm not 25. You're not 25. So, so you how the hell? So, so I can't even drive up to Canada. Yeah. You know, and get yeah. health insurance right. there. Yeah. Uh, you know. The I, Underground I, Railroad. Where are yeah. you now that we need you <laughs> to escape from these bonds? Yeah. I see. No, it's really yeah, no, true. It's, yeah. it's it's true. It's true. Yeah. I, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna call myself someone who was kidnapped from their home. Mm -hmm. and, you know, sent to grow tobacco. Yeah, but, um, right, right, right. but yeah, I mean, I I don't like the fact that I don't have health insurance uh, and I can't rent a car and yeah. get the hell out of here. But yeah. I, I um, yeah, I I also I just totally lost my. No, it's all right. No, I understand. You, you, it's not hard to know where to begin to start making the list of mm -hmm. things that are out of whack with what yeah. you're doing. There's so much out of whack. Yeah, it seems in, in a systems way. Does it seem yeah, that way yeah. to you? Uh, well, I, I think that our whole world is just broken. Uh-huh. That's interesting. And I think we're and actually... are there a lot of people of your age group, let's say, who are like that? Or do most of the people sort of, in a sense, somehow make their peace with it? And that's well, what it's about. You know, and you're going to settle d down. Don't take offense. You know? No. Don't take offense to yeah. me. Okay. You know, straight up saying. I that better. I better, I better you, I, wait a minute. I better. Yeah, yeah, watch now, out. Don't take offense. Yeah, yeah, I'd yeah. better get myself. Yeah. Set. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sit down. Lay it on me. I'm sorry, but you guys failed. Yeah. You right. guys failed. Okay. Yeah. You um, feel that way. You yeah. know, the war yeah. in Vietnam yeah. did end. Yeah. But. Um, it was a horror. Yeah. 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 And and we've and we've got the same thing going on. Yep. Right now. Right. We've got the same thing going on right now. And only the repercussions are far. Worse. Worse now than they were Vietnam, worse you now think? Than, worse now well, than Well, think they were. about it for a minute. You had it. You think you got a big Eurasian landmass and you had this thing in Vietnam, mm -hmm. okay? Vietnam. Behind Vietnam, you had China. China mm -hmm. was commie then. They used mm -hmm. to have commies. Right. And now, the and now they're menace. just straight up fat. Now, now they're straight <laughs> out. They've joined the imperialists. Exactly. Believe. Exactly. Now, 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 that they the, now that they've gone yeah. capitalist. Yeah. No, but I'm trying to get you to think about it for a minute. So you got the your Asian landmass, and over there you had Vietnam, right? Mm -hmm. You had South Vietnam, North Vietnam, mm -hmm. remember? And then you had George Kennan, I don't know, with the, the containment theory and so forth, mm -hmm. and that nationalism would come to the fore and everything. And then we went over there, and we were responsible. A lot of people... They, they, they got into a thing, Gulf of Tonkin, and a lie, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. They got in. And we had and our own Gulf involved, of Tonkin And then recently. we had our own narrative. We were talking about that. And China was the big bugaboo, and there was Russia still was there. And you had this amoeba coming out, this communist threat to mm -hmm. our system, our imperialist it, it, system. Yeah, it's or, so or freedom. As so I we had that. And then what we did, we were responsible for something like three to four million Southeast Asian people who were killed as a result of what we were doing. Well, we had to save them from and themselves. And we've never anybody <laughs> gone in the dock for that. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. yes. So if you've got the power, if you can maintain power, you can get away with murder. Yes. Understand? Yeah, so that's no, I, I do, do understand. That. Now we're living in a time on the other side of the Eurasian landmass, on West Asia now. Mm -hmm. Now we've got a thing. Oh, and you had about one million billion people in China behind that thing in Vietnam. But those were Vietnamese there, mm -hmm. right. two Vietnamese groups right mm -hmm. there. They were, they were the North Now if South. you go on the other side, what do we got? Well, we've got well, Israel. Kibbutz. Don't even get me started. No, 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 no. You got that. All right, got I'll that. get started. And then you've got <laughs> one for 1 1.5 uh, is Islamic people, right? Mm -hmm. And you've got a an extension where we've uh, wrecked havoc all over the place, mm -hmm. co-opted people the way we had done and so mm -hmm. forth. But now you've got the thing is that it's it's not a thing like Vietnam, but you've got 1.5 billion Muslims that are on the other side like China was. China mm -hmm. got co-opted. They haven't been co-opted. Perhaps mm -hmm. they're still there. Well, but that's a fight. But it's a little bit different because now we've got the Israelis there, mm -hmm. and we've got European and, and the Israelis and the are getting away with murder as we speak. Um, well, all right. Uh, in a way, that's the way a lot of the world sees mm -hmm. it. They see it as colonialization, but they have a narrative I that see is it as an really cleansing. Yeah, but that narrative that they have, the Zionist narrative, is very powerful and it's got roots. It goes way back in mm -hmm. history, that sort of thing. Well, well definitely. And they got two hundred hundred. They got two hundred atomic bombs, and you've got this thing building. You see. 
So it's different, or it's different in a way, but mm -hmm. in a certain sense, it's on the other side of the of yeah. the of the uh, of the Eurasian landmass mm -hmm. and so forth and so forth. So what do you think of Iran? And now they're talking about how maybe we should go and bomb Iran. Iran, yeah. Now, what um, is your thought on all that? Well, my thought on or all your, that, or your your generation's thought as you uh, think of that. Um, I'll I'll, st I'll stick to me on this mm -hmm. one because okay, fair my enough. generation, your generation, you know, that runs the gamut. You know, <laughs> uh, you know. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, maybe maybe I stand for five people. Five, uh, you know, or six maybe. Five. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty small circle. Yeah, of yeah, friends, I, right? yeah. I like to keep it intimate. Yeah. Okay. You know, yeah. Um, yeah. 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 You mm -hmm. know, I have my friends and I love them to death. Yeah. And right. um, yeah. Yeah. Th th they're, they're what I have. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. But. Um, so what's the word? But really. It's not, absurd. It is absurd. The world, absurd. That's the way to see it. It, it, it is know, absurd. You know, that's why you've got... Uh, uh, this is, thank this is God great, for this Krasner. Is time to talk about. Yeah. Well, let's, let's talk about the English language for okay. a second. Okay, yeah. do. All right, what, what, is, what is terror? Mm -hmm. What is terror? Or is a terrorist? Yeah. Well, let me uh, ask you, okay, what, is, what is terror? Terror is... Uh, well, I don't know how to go about it. No, how no. To, how it, to it's address fear, what you're right? It is fear, yeah, Okay, sure. are, are we going to are we gonna declare war on an emotion? Uh-huh. Okay? Yeah, right, right. Is this brave... It's it's more similar to Huxley, you know? More Huxley. Than Orwell. Right? Well, uh, you put the two together. Of, of you put the two together. Yeah. We, we do have a lot going on. With put Orwell them all also, together. You got this world. Yeah. Right. No, but you can't declare. You can't declare war on an emotion. Right. You can't declare war on a method of warfare. Uh huh. And um, mm -hmm. you know, really, terrorism is such a loaded, you know, just nonsensical notion. Well, they, I think, if I'm not mistaken, for whatever it's worth, I believe, and I may be wrong, right? But I believe uh, George, uh, King George III called George Washington a terrorist. I know he did. they did call um, uh, Nelson Mandela a terrorist. Of course they did. And so they call, the terrorist is the enemy of those forces that claim to be historically legitimate mm -hmm. to march through history. Right. And um, we try to claim that we, the Western model, we after all, we did all that beautiful colonization of the world. Yeah. yeah. And we're still doing it. And mm -hmm. the neoliberal model, we got a model that is legitimate. Everything else is illegitimate mm -hmm. if they're outside of our consensus, right? Right. That's the thing. Right. Sort of like and Rome. Ro oh. Uh, and well, Haiti. Well, Maybe well, Caligula's Rome, time. Rome, Rome. With Caligula at the helm. Nero set the mm. precedent mm. when he lit Rome on fire. Yeah, right. And he used mm -hmm. that as a pretense to mm -hmm. go to war. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah. And and uh, and Hitler, mm. uh, you know, like, well, not, I don't think Hitler lit the match. Yeah, it was a, a yeah. member of the Gestapo, but yeah. the Nazis light the Reichstag on mm. fire. That's they, what they, I do. They, they mm. use that as the impetus to declare martial law. Well, we then, did it with the Gulf of Tonkin. Yeah, we did that with the Gulf of Tonkin. Yeah, right. and we and had, they always um, do. The, remember the main. We mm -hmm. went down to take yeah, Cuba exactly. and met and, and, you know, we yeah. had, we yeah. had um, mm -hmm. this got nixed by Kennedy, mm -hmm. but something called Operation Northwoods. Yes, okay, which I've was, heard, yeah. Uh -huh. Which was a, um, it was a terrorist attack mm -hmm. in Miami mm -hmm. um, that the CIA was going to pull through and use mm -hmm. that as uh, the rationale for invading Cuba. Uh -huh, this is yeah. right after the Bay of Pigs, yeah. and they want another chance at invading Cuba. Mm -hmm. And they say, okay, mm -hmm. let's bomb some of our own people. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's the same thing that the Nazis did mm -hmm. when they, right on the Polish border, you yeah. know about this? Uh -huh. You had SS men right. dress, as, dress up as right. Polish soldiers that's right, yeah. and attack their own radio outposts. What's his name? Alec Jones has shown that in yeah, some of his documentary and stuff. Yeah, Wars, yeah, Info Wars. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. guys are all tuned into that, right? Um, yeah. Or somewhere. You, you know, I, I, I don't like to play into that yeah. aspect of the truth movement okay. because, uh -huh. you know, I, I, I think that there's a lot more to it than doctored photographs in your mom's basement, uh -huh. you know, uh -huh. putting... Pu putting stuff on blogs, but, mm -hmm. um, you know, like, I, I saw those buildings go down, yeah, and, um, yeah. you know, this is, you know, it happened in my city, mm -hmm. and, and I know for a fact that the people who apparently carried this out, mm -hmm. they're still getting funded by our tax dollars, because mm -hmm. th this happened before I was born also, yeah, but Afghanistan, yeah. you remember Afghanistan? Sure. No one, no one does. Uh, nobody, nobody what remembers do you mean remembers war. Afghanistan? Nobody the remembers time? there's a war going on in Afghanistan as well. Now. Yeah, you now. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, right. you know, um, it was going on after 79, too. Exactly, and, exactly. Yeah, and that's, yeah. that, that's it was 79, the, right? When well, they we were supporting them Right, then. we, we, we were giving, went to Osama we were giving the Mujahideen, exactly, and Osama was an officer in the Mujahideen. He's still on our payroll. Mm. Uh, really? And, yeah, mm. uh, and he is, um, you know, and, and the terrorists, mm -hmm. you know, they're, they're, where do you think they got their weapons? Mm -hmm. 
They, they, they got their weapons so they could fight off the Soviets, mm -hmm. so we could mm -hmm. use their resources. Right, 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 right. And so if you've got a thing where you call the terrorists, then that means anybody who's against what you're doing. Like, for instance, they're talking about Iran giving support to, to Hezbollah. Or let's say giving support to, to Iraqi against uh, the in occupiers of Iraq. Mm -hmm. We're the occupiers. We are That's the occupiers. That's like Vichy France. We've got mm -hmm. people who are going along with the... Nazis occupied France, right, mm -hmm. in, the, in that sort of thing. And you've got a Vichy government or something, and that that's somehow being called legitimate. Mm -hmm. And if we give it's endless support to that, mm -hmm. endless, un just flying it into all mm -hmm. kinds of support, that's okay. Mm -hmm. But if anybody who's representing, let's say, the forces against what we think is the right thing there, they're terrorists. Yeah, yeah. Or if you take the case of Israel. Mm -hmm. If you have Israel, you've got Israel there. Yeah. Endless support is pouring in, endlessly so, and it's yeah. perfectly fine. Yeah. But if anybody gives any support to the other side, they're terrorists. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Well, you know, I, that seems I, I think, to be a I, bit I, think I just made myself a terrorist then. Uh, okay. uh, because let me tell you something. Terrorism is when you fence in a village and oh. indiscriminately shell it, oh. okay? Well, we do that. We, we did we it. Do we that. had the strategic hamlets in Vietnam mm -hmm. and that. Yeah, we yeah. did. Yeah. And, and yeah. Israel does that. Uh -huh. Israel does it to this day. Uh -huh. They bulldoze people's homes. They uh -huh. bulldoze their olive trees. That Push over those olive yeah, trees. Yeah, an olive yeah, with, tree. With, with, with uh, uh, Alan. You mm -hmm. know, they love, I mean, yeah. it's a thing to do. And, and, to and, break and the then? spirit, mm -hmm. like they did with the American Indians. They wanted yeah. to break the spirit they or the slaves they brought over. You had to get rid of their identity. You had to break them down and make them into a lesser mm -hmm. people exactly. and that sort of thing's been going on since the beginning of time and it yeah. continues under our watch our country's watch mm -hmm. it, it does Does it and not seem that way to you of, of course it does you feel alienated a little bit uh, well i've Into always a lot felt of alienated oh, you have. Okay, i always remember? felt alienated yeah. Uh, I think it's in my blood to feel alienated. Okay, well, I think that's probably a good way to feel. Have you given any thought, as we used to, when we grew up, we used to have a thing called, have you seen it in newsreels, Duck and Cover? Oh, I'm aware. Because they came with the, they came with the, this was really, a, this was, Paul Krasner could make great food with that. And they would put a thing, and they said, wouldn't the atomic bombs fall after they got the atomic bombs? Get bomb? under your desk. Yeah, you'd get under your <laughs> desk. Duck can cover <laughs> as the bombs are coming down. You know the show South Park? The South Park. Yeah, they, they, had really it, they had funny. it for, uh, they for uh, really a volcano funny. was yeah. going to go off. Now, South, so. Park, South Park and uh, Colbert and the Comedy Channel, mm -hmm. that's sort of a carrying on in the tradition oh, in a certain yippies, way yeah. of the yippies. Yeah, and that's know, what actually, they're, and uh, they're, they don't get all exercised about you know some political and, and rallies. Yeah. And there, but they just, uh, they just bombard it with ridicule. Mm -hmm. and, and that's maybe the way to do it. The yes men? Yes. Yeah, uh, that's yeah. really I, I, good. I love yeah. the yes men. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. That's yeah. sort of yippee right? Uh, it's very yeah, yippie -ish. I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, actually, to go and, you know, like, like we were talking about earlier, mm. um, that action where they threw dollar bills onto the yeah. stock exchange. Wasn't that great? Everybody's yeah. scrambling. Everybody's scra <laughs> you know, these rich men fighting said, over dollar bills. Are you terrorists coming bill? to know we're Jews and we want to see <laughs> the other? It was great. That was yeah, Abby. Yeah, yeah, Abby was wonderful, uh, man. Uh, yeah. yeah. I bet, man. Yeah. You know, um, I bet. Yeah. And but I wanted to bring something up, if you don't mind. And the thing Please. is, the thing that really was there, and the thing that really is there, like Oppenheimer and that kind of thing, Mr. Roy Eisenhower, I mean, Mr. Uh, Einstein, 1905, wrote Special Theory. They got this thing. They got the atomic bomb. Right. They got the hydrogen bomb. Mm -hmm. And they get to the point where they had weapons that were so destructive. They only had two of them when they bombed Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Mm -hmm. They didn't Big have any more. Big boy and little boy. That's right. And they didn't have any more than that. But now we have, and apparently we got weapons, apparently. It can only be modeled, mm -hmm. right? This is something I wonder if you're aware of or what you think. Youth, let's say that there are weapon systems that exist and it goes not only into the thermonuclear and that kind of thing that exists um, but also there are newer systems that have been developed that get into the room of germ and uh, biological weapon systems that can be destructive of human beings and other forms of life and so forth that the point is where if there was to be an unleashing of the weapon systems in a spasm of hatred like happened in the mm -hmm. war big wars and you got these people that apparently if they were unleashed it would mean that there would not be a single human being survive right do you understand um, what I well, said? Well, the, I, do you understand, I do understand what I just said? I, I do understand Does what you said. Does it have any said. residency among you people that were, that you couldn't do it? Now think, in your lifetime, what year were you born? I was born in 86. Even far before your lifetime. Oh, yeah. It wasn't, it, it, you could, be, in the Second World War, we were not in that existential situation mm -hmm. as far as the evolutionary process in this mm -hmm. part of the universe, but we've now reached a new level right. that calls for some sort of a qualitative existential understanding of what's going on and perhaps a transformation. Mm -hmm. 
Is that something that still resonates? It used to be very popular or very important in um, the consciousness of people when I was your age. Mm -hmm. Is it well, still, well, it, it, or is that something that is just so horrendous it, it, not to thought about, or absurd, or not worth thinking about? I, I or, think if I may, that on one side of an eclectic, of a dialectic, and on the other side, what would be the adverse side of that destructive scenario that the technology might be a positive side in which you could see the human condition? You deal with that big thing, mm -hmm. war and peace, the big issues. How does you see all that? Well, you're speaking for youth now. Yeah. There, there or are you speaking for your segment? Of you know, I'm, speak, I'm speaking for my segment, if, and I, I hope they're willing. Mm. I, I hope they're willing. I, I wonder if I'm going <laughs> to call. If I'm going to call. Friends, Romans, and nah, country. Am, am Friends, I going to uh, am I gonna call down the thunder? Yes, or, right, um, right, right, right. You know, I'm, I'm going to go yeah. back downtown. Yeah. I have to and, uh, <laughs> and, and get the thunder call down. You know, who, sa who said you could speak <laughs> yeah, for us? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I hope. Uh, I, I wonder what's going to happen yeah, uh, when this airs. Um, at the Yippie Museum. Yeah, oh. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, no, no uh, but you understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I, I do understand that what you're saying. That used to be a major dilemma, and it's still one that plagues me. Mm -hmm. well, well, what we have Mostly now... Mostly the fact that there's no obverse side positive how mm -hmm. we're going to get out of the history, the nightmare that is history where we still live within a system where a few people benefit most people are slaves mm -hmm. to a system that's out of date with what the future requires. Right, 10% of the world controls 85% of the world's power. As always they have. Mm -hmm. And that there's a need for something different mm -hmm. on the positive side that seems not to be coming out of our political leadership, we wouldn't expect it, but it's not coming out of the intellectual mm -hmm. leadership. There's no alternative vision for operating mm -hmm. other than with these outdated institutions that are over out of date and Definitely yet that's true. all we hear from Definitely our political uh, or, poli or, or business leaders, mm -hmm. yes. But even from the intellectual leaders, there's no alternative mm -hmm. coming well, adequately able to address what the future requires if we're going to get through to another level mm -hmm. or much less even survive as right. a species. Right, like uh, at the time of the American Revolution. Yes. Uh, democracy and capitalism are both a lot different than they are now. Yeah, sure. Um, and since capitalism has evolved, uh, democracy uh, has tried to follow follow it. Mm -hmm. And now that we have neoliberalism, yeah. uh, which, you know, says that... The ultimate we, pop out. The, which says the market should mm -hmm. take its course mm -hmm. and, and the government's purpose is to protect the market mm -hmm. at all costs. Yeah. So let the market run its course. Mm -hmm. So that's why we go and invade a country like Iraq. Mm -hmm. You know, actually, uh, not a lot of people realize this, but Iraq is the first truly neoliberal nation. Yeah, the first yeah. thing they did mm -hmm. When they got there, mm. was they privatized everything. Yeah, right. They right. privatized everything. The only thing that they didn't fully privatize mm -hmm. was the oil, because that's mm -hmm. such a hot button issue. Mm -hmm. But the health care system. They protected the oil ministry right away. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Isn't yeah. that odd? Oh, yeah. They let the museum be looted. Of course. <laughs> of Amazing. Course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, because, you know. The seed of civilization. Mes you know, uh, civilization really did begin in Iraq and Mesopotamia. It did. It did. Mesopotamia. Absolutely. Um, yeah, Western no. civil, yeah. Yeah, yeah um, right on the... But go, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but go oh, ahead. Don't worry yeah. about it. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. But, uh, yeah, uh, you know, Paul Bremer, he, yeah, was, yeah. Um, uh -huh. he, he was the U.S. envoy. Wore those he goes boots. There. Yeah. Yeah. He goes there, and he privatizes all industry. Mm -hmm. Says, you know, we're going to let the market take its course. He says, all the multinationals, come in, boys. Mm. You know, it's like he had the whole you know, country tied down and, right. you know, had a few guys in suits ready to make a train on it. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, uh, really, and they just went to town. They, you know, they went and did all this shit. And mm. the first thing they did mm. uh, for health care mm. was a uh, stop smoking campaign. Oh. <laughs> all right. Yeah, so, so, you know, uh, um, mm -hmm. uh, it, it's just incredible, yeah. um, you know, really uh, how a theory such uh -huh. as the market. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a kind of, because we're talking about religion and so forth, it gets to be very, or people, if you, if you, have, a, if you have something that you, you, like, you know, like market fundamentalism mm -hmm. becomes like a, it is a, it a, is religion. a religion. It's like a religion. It is its, it's a religion. fundamentalist attitude toward things and, and that is comparable to a fundamentalist religious mm -hmm. thing that you've got the perfect, you've got the system, and it's like, Paul, uh, what's his name wrote the book, uh, The End of History, Fukuyama? Uh, Fuki Francis yeah. Fukuyama. Yeah, yeah, Francis Fukuyama. It's the end of history. You know we who defeated actually, that he, socialist he, thing. Yeah, even, he's even, coming back away him. from the neo Even him, he, he's separating from the neo Yeah, he is. He from sees the neo what's going But the neoliberal goes on 
it was right, boy, the it was, it was Clinton who did uh, welfare to work, get all mm -hmm. those people out there working, picking up paper rather than exactly, wasting their time exactly. with their baby. There's something. So uh, be nice to the Parks the Department, guys. Yeah. Those guys are all slaves. Yeah, well, um, we all are. Yeah. In a certain real sense, it's just like. We have a few people, Krugman says that the real growth went from 2003 to 2005. It didn't even go to the upper 1% only. Mm -hmm. It didn't even go to the upper 1 tenth. It went to the upper 100th of 1% mm -hmm. of the people who set the template mm -hmm. for all the institutions, including the university you're going to go to, this, the <laughs> research labs. Everything is set by them. And so you're going to be working on their estate. You're going to mm -hmm. be field hand on their estate when you go there. And they have the control over the asset base of the country, and everybody else is just uh, like serfs on a feudal estate in a very mm -hmm. real sense and so forth. And that seems to be, there's no effective criticism or countervailing force or countervailing positive use of the technological collective capability being able to exert itself comparable to the existential challenge that it has of uh, being an alternative to the tradition, uh, the, the pattern if we follow, we're going to destroy joint entropy and destroy the uh, the human species. What is well, your thought? Well, we're are you slipping. optimistic, we're pessimistic slipping. for the human prospect? We are slipping. Uh, mm. You know, fact is that right now we're consuming more than we're producing. Mm. The United States. Uh, not the United, not just yes, the United oh, States, the, but the, the entire does, world. The G8, uh, yeah. Straight up, we cannot sustain this world, uh -huh. and um, you know we're faltering. America, especially, because. Uh, the analogy I like to use for America mm -hmm. is, you, you, you watch uh, Roadrunner and Wile E. Wiley Coyote yeah, 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 chasing yeah. each other. Yeah, 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 well, Roadrunner yeah. runs yeah. off a cliff and yeah. Wiley runs right after him. Uh -huh. And there's this moment where he's suspended Zoop. in the air. Yeah. Suspended That's in the air. Yeah. He hasn't yet realized that he's suspended in the air. Yeah. But the moment he does, the moment it clicks, yeah. he falls. Yeah. America is suspended in the air. Yeah, okay. We're already done. Uh -huh. Where are Wait we a done? minute, America man, is I over. May. Wait a minute, I'm not saying just America. I'm talking about what about the human prospect? Are you optimistic, pessimistic for the human prospect? For the human and prospect. And the, the thing is, the role of the dice is so existentially newly significant in a new way. Mm -hmm. And is that across to the young people and so forth as much as it is? Well, uh, well, but I know it's not global generally warming's a big deal. Global, global warming's warming, a big deal. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, now now but that we're having warming, global warming could occur. They're opening up the northeast, pa the northwest <laughs> passage now that everybody was trying to find back in the 16th century. <laughs> but you know, that's going through like that. But that does not signal the end of the species, like the weapons thing that we can see ourselves on the course toward unleashing now. Mm -hmm. Or do you see it that way? A bunch of people are going to die. A bunch. No, it used to be when you had a war, a bunch of people died. Mm -hmm. Now there the is the world. capability. It's new. It's existentially new. Apparently, this is something that should be on think tank walls everywhere. Apparently, if the weapons are unleashed, you got two hundred. You got two hundred of them in, in Israel alone. Mm -hmm. Something they get they a got country the size of New Jersey. Yeah, and you got a deep seated narrative. You got that hatred, that kind of thing, and everything mm -hmm. you got there. And so, and you got other countries, Pakistan, the kind, and if it goes, it would apparently mean the end of our whole hominoid line, uh, taking the measure of universe along that line of consciousness and so forth. It happened to the dinosaurs. It did happen to the dinosaurs. There were five big extinctions where one time it was nearly all but 95 percent of the life was w wiped out mm -hmm. but we could wipe out our line now we could and they're we still could. going along with the same outdated incident is there anything do you find where they present an alternative to that perception of continuing Th there, along there, that are line? Mm -hmm. there are plenty of alternatives there are plenty of alternatives um you know that there's so many other possibilities mm -hmm. to what's going on right now mm -hmm. but um right now Things are going to collapse. Mm. Things are going to collapse because they can't.